Comics. He's doing a crossword book, fine, but the one he just completed appears to be only seven by seven squares, which is a pretty f***ing small crossword puzzle. I believe in Gotham City. Believing in Gotham City. So, how did anyone survive that sh**? Everything in that restaurant should be dead. Even in Gotham City, I'm having a hard time believing any of the newspapers would have a picture of a corpse in the bathtub. How did they even get this picture? Also, being so lazy, you just draw lines in place of words in the articles of the newspaper. This white line leading us through all the expositional opening is a cheap ripoff of the old Mission Impossible TV show's lit fuse. Not sure what this driver is laughing about. He's losing a lot of the money he stole. Cutting away from a bat beating in order to do opening credits. Four lamps on in this room, and collectively they don't even offer half the light the hallway brings when the front door is open. Who would fill the bathtub up this high if they're just gonna have the water cascading out of the tub? Someone who wants water damage and mold in their house, that's who. Let's be morbid! Why does the blood spill out into the tub water, but also drip down where dude's arm is? Was he shot in the chest and then, uh, I guess, wrist? I think not! The blood dispersion doesn't match the circumstances of the murder! I object, your honor! This movie's Wayne Manor is 25% Hogwarts, 25% Harvard, and 50% Balconies! Who is trick-or-treating at Wayne Manor? It's outside of the city, and there aren't a lot of other houses around it. Are parents driving their kids here to get handed a Choco Chunk bar from Alfred? The gates are open. We haven't seen a trick-or-treater in years. We've already covered this, Bruce. Say you don't watch CinemaSins without saying you don't watch CinemaSins. Hardly worth the security risk, wouldn't you say? Respectfully, sir, if our security is dependent on $600 worth of iron alloy... Alfred would be bat-tastic at CinemaSins. In the meantime, we live in obstinate hope. And an unlocked mansion. No, Bruce, your gate is unlocked. Not the entire mansion, you dick. Anyway, it's an absurd holiday. That's Halloweenist. This one house has six lit jack-o'-lanterns. Six! That's six times the fire hazard. Here's an easy fall centerpiece idea. Go outside, grab some leaves, and place them in a shallow bowl. You're done. James, <laughs> Babs, no. you're running. Something tells me in the near future, Jim, you're going to regret not letting Barbara run as much as she wanted as a child. Jim! <laughs> Just joking. Did he really need to say that? Did Mrs. Gordon actually think that Jim was going to let Barbara drive the car? Your father's captain now. The whole department's counting on him. Well, I was counting on him too. Kids. Yeah, I saw the bull on the porch. Not sure how that's possible, since the bull was in the living room when you entered. I'll just let Will Ferrell say what's on all our minds now, Harvey. I wish you weren't a liar. You have a love-hate relationship with everything. Well, then I guess it's fitting Harvey eventually becomes Two-Face. Of course, around the Sins office, we call that convenience, and we f***ing hate convenience, no matter how colorful and metaphorical it can be. You have to go. But why? It's the bat signal, not the Harvey Dent signal. He can't let Gordon fill him in later? Nobody on your team thought he'd be vulnerable the night before he's gonna turn state's evidence? I agree with Harvey Dent here. Baby bottle nipple silencer. Batman regularly meets with Gordon on a roof in full view of multiple taller buildings. A good directional mic and any villain in town could know exactly what Batman is thinking. The Falcone crime family has to be taken down, so I'm putting you two together. Well, I guess it's a good thing that Dent showed up, but shouldn't Gordon have given him a heads up or something? How does Dent know when the bat signal applies to him and when it doesn't? Two heads are better than one. And two breasts are per... I mean the heads thing. Let's go with what I said about the heads. Godfather. Man, not even trying to hide our influences anymore, are we? The man who pulled the trigger did not load the gun. Ah, wait. What? Why is there a pipe organ behind this guy? Wait, that's just a bunch of pipe-shaped um, architectural rods? Anyway, you're kind of a dick for asking. Why do all these gangsters drink coffee? And why do they all take the exact same level of cream in their coffee to create this uniform color, which is clearly not black coffee? Alberto, business time. Take your crosswords for a walk. They're logic puzzles. Not making them sound any better, Alberto. Wet cats. Your equipment's weighing you down. My college girlfriend said the same thing to- Why are you running? Fun. You could use a little fun. The movie wants us to believe that running is in any way fun. Not that it is not awesome, but 10% of this movie's runtime is Batman chasing Catwoman. Give me your hand. Nah. Catwoman survives this. These bills have no serial numbers! <laughs> Someone had this much cash, chose to store it in physical form in a warehouse with some random crates lying all around, and put no security on it once someone gets inside the building. <laughs> and honestly, the biggest sin here is that they stacked it all kooky, with no consistency as to the width or height of the stacks, so it ends up looking like a shitty three-dimensional bar graph. Also, I don't have the time to do the math here. We'll have to wait for film theory. But eyeballing this massive haul of cash makes me think they went about 15,000% overboard. I'm not a woman, but there's something off about this outfit. Something strange, yet obvious. Hmm. I don't know, I can't quite put my boob on it. Well, who said anything about moving it? Even if I'm to believe Catwoman would just have a random match in her boot, how does she keep it at the top of the boot? Justice can be personal, sweetie. And, no, uh, that's revenge. 
So it's a coin flip. Have I mentioned how much I hate all the two-faced foreshadowing thrown at us in any Batman story involving a non-disfigured Harvey Dent? Sure I have, but god damn it, it bears repeating again. Also, I don't even understand the coin flip for this situation. They already said if they turned the money into Gordon, Falcone would just find a way to get it out. And Dent said they didn't have enough manpower to move it quickly, so destroying it is their only option. <laughs> Two heads are better than one. Cheating. I'm not sure an explosion that large could happen while still leaving the overall structure of the house intact. Imagine trying to lose Batman. This grocery store's name is Grocery. Alfred, make a note to order a new windshield. Bulletproof. You weren't already using a bulletproof windshield on the f***ing Batmobile? How did you overlook that little detail? I thought you didn't hurt people! You thought wrong. <laughs> you and your San Ho Hui buddies were seen outside Harvey Dent's house on Halloween. We know by hearing Alfred say, The turkey is roasting. That it's Thanksgiving, so it's taken Batman almost an entire month to get a lead on the fire at Dent's house? World's greatest detective, my ass. Big trouble in Gotham's China. This animated fight scene is cut like an MCU film. These bullhorn miniature Klingon bat left weapons look impractical. It is Thanksgiving. We already had Alfred tip us off with the turkeys roasting aside. Having Catwoman say what day it is feels like overkill. This is the largest hospital room I've ever seen. This is the presidential suite of hospital rooms. Why is Harvey still in a bed but Gilda is fine and doesn't even have a scratch on her? I know it's been a month, but that was a hell of an explosion that they were just a few feet from. I don't understand how they're both still alive, but there should be at least some burn marks. I I'm sorry, ma'am. It's none of my business. You're correct. Why were you even reading the card that was meant for someone else in the first place? Nobody closes the blinds in an office unless some shit is about to go down. Maybe you guys should admit you have nothing on San Ho Hui. If you had, you would have booked me already. Referring to yourself in the third person. I found him, didn't I? Yes, but it was almost a month later. Why did it take a month to find this fucking guy? That is a big ass reception area. Holy shit, has this movie ever been to a hospital? Holy shit! He is slicing a red bell pepper without having cleaned out the insides! He's either planning to eat all the seeds and white cartilage, or he's gonna clean each slice individually like a madman! What the f***? This cursed f***ed up kitchen. Look at this sh**. You have an island with four stools, then you have tons of cabinets and counter space, but you have a stove and that's it. There's no microwave, no dishwasher, no appliances whatsoever actually, and no goddamn kitchen sink! F*** this kitchen. Why is Gordon giving Harvey his gun? The hell? As far as I'm concerned, you don't have this. Jesus, this is a fireable offense, Jim. Don't do this. The police commissioner of Gotham f***ing city only has three goddamn keys on his key ring. Movie expects me to believe that food left out in the open in a sewer wouldn't have been eaten up by rats yet. Apparently in this movie, Arkham Asylum is located on top of Mount Everest. Who the f*** is getting up that driveway in the middle of the night when there's this much snow and ice around? Random cobblepot appearance is random. Calendar man. Calendar man, calendar man, he doesn't like Triangle Man, they have a fight, calendar wins, calendar man. A killer who only works on holidays, and it's December 24th. I was wondering when you'd get to me. If they've already made the holiday connection and they think Calendar Man could help them, then I'm wondering why Bats and the Commish waited until December f***ing 24th to talk to him. But since sneaking around isn't really Falcone's style. No one will be seated while the movie goes full silence of the really boring lamps. We move on to the second suspect. Someone hoping for the fall of the Roman Empire. Maximus Decimus Meridius? Also, the movie is making Calendar Man the most interesting character we've seen yet. <laughs> you might think that deserves a sit off, but let me repeat myself. The movie is making f***ing Calendar Man the most interesting character we've seen yet. Tis the season to be jolly. Because it's an animated movie with Batman in it, the Joker has to be in it as well, even if it adds nothing to the overall story cliche. I didn't even know Hot Topic sold Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> Gilda, is that you? Does Gilda ever laugh like the Joker? How does Harvey not know who this is? Or at least know it's not f***ing Gilda. Also, big stack of money burned, explosion intended to kill Dent, now Joker having a hand in turning Harvey to the dark side. Exactly how much Long Halloween did Nolan steal for the Dark Knight? Oh, I thought I was playing Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Hiding behind a couch protects Harvey from bullets. You know what I forgot? How to shoot? I had no idea that the Joker had attended the Stormtrooper school for aiming at things, but here we are. Oh no, the nipple gun killer is struck again. Why does the Batcave have to be so f***ing deadly? Why can't it just be a cave you can walk into and sh**? Why does it have to have deadly cliffs all over the place? The guard testified that he escaped before the first murder. Wait, what? They found out the Joker wasn't in his cell on Christmas Eve and the first murder was on Halloween. How was the Joker gone for almost two months and no one found out? Even if a guard helped him escape, that wasn't the only guard that worked at Arkham. Someone would have noticed the Joker's absence a lot sooner than this. May I ask why you're keeping the fifth suspect off the board? But he didn't keep him off the board. There's still a shadow caricature up there without Dent's face on it. I thought this would be about sweeping criminals off the street. 
Maybe scaring them straight. <laughs> you dummy. Sal Moroni on my yacht. It's like my father always said. Keep your enemies close and a loaded gun closer. Falcone has got jokes. Seriously, is this a party he's hosting or is he trying out material he's going to use at Caroline's next week? This feels weirder than Chris Rock busting out a routine at the beginning of Spiral. I haven't worked as a sitter in years. <laughs> we had paid her way through law school. Making anyone believe that you could pay your way through law school off of babysitting wages. I didn't know you are a lawyer. I was. Now I'm not anything. Yeah, oh, this is a depressing conversation. But also, is she crying for help here or just being a downer? Time to ring in the new year. I love how whatever Joker needs to be able to do at any given moment, he has that ability. He needs to fly a plane. I guess he knows how to fly a plane. And he's about to admit he has no idea how to fly it, but somehow he still manages to do it. I'm not a woman, but there's something off about this outfit. Something strange yet obvious. Hmm. I don't know. I can't retrieve that particular memory. It's cold enough to snow, but not cold enough for either of them to have anything on outside other than garb that would typically barely qualify as a jacket. Selena should have hypothermia at this point. Look, we haven't talked, and I think we should. Choosing to break up with someone when you are stuck with them on a yacht for the rest of the evening. Can we please talk about this in private? Right now? Doubtful. What are you trying to prove with this stunt, Joker? Prove? Stunt? Joker? How does Batman misunderstand Joker so much here? Does he have amnesia? He's the competition! And like the corn kernel always says, I won't be number two. <laughs> what? We both love a good puzzle. Oh, give me a f***ing break. Yes, Alberto is a perfectly viable suspect, but the idea that Batman would come to this realization based on the Joker's comment, and he recalls one time he saw Alberto doing a crossword puzzle is full-on bat sh or guano if you're nasty. Can I ask you a question? Is it why no one on this boat brought a goddamn toboggan or some f***ing earmuffs? Because that's a question I have. Bruce! Wait, Bruce? Wayne? Bruce Wayne is the Batman? Okay, first, that she would blurt this sh out like this. God damn it, Selena. Second, that this guy would go straight from Bruce to Bruce Wayne in a city like Gotham with 11 billion citizens. Batman details the villain's plan to the villain a la Columbo and I'm tired and I have to pee. I guess you could say Alberto is the king of the world. I went there for Alberto Falcone. I thought I was supposed to stop him. Regardless, I know for certain I was supposed to walk between you two dramatically just now to keep the audience intrigued. So I did. If Alberto Falcone wasn't Holiday, then who is? And who's next? Wait, that's it? That's the end? Batman Infinity War or Batman Dune would have been a much better title. Only black umbrellas are permitted at funerals, cliche. Trick or treat, man! Hey, aren't you a little old for this? This city's finally got a chance. And it's the three men standing here right now. Wherever there is injustice, you will find us. Wherever there is suffering, We'll be there! Then I guess we're up and... running. He does that a lot. I just... Oh, wow, they just... they really just vanish. Huh? Oh. That's rude. As your leader, I encourage you from time to time, and always in a respectful manner, to question my logic. Handsome day. And to die for. Also because he's the DA who put all your friends into Arkham. Actually, we have 999 happy haunts here. But there's room for a thousand. Any volunteers? I thought you didn't hurt people! Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Go. I'll keep an eye on your little friends. Say hello to my little friend! Your mother's dead. She died last night while I was out looking for you. I know it was you, Fredo. Where's my wife? Where's my dinner? If you're gonna kill me, just do it. I don't, I don't wanna kill you. Sometimes you think you have true love and then you catch the early flight home from San Diego and a couple of nude people jump out of your bathroom blind. Don't come any closer. Come on, just give me your hand. I'll pull you back over. No, stay where you are. 